Hey Maniacs, it is Henya and welcome to another video. Today I'm going to do another monthly favorite slash winter obsession slash uh, things you should know about that I've been liking lately. And I'm going to share with you some of my favorite things in the past month, which was November. Currently it is November because look at me, I am on schedule. <laughs> well at least trying to be, okay? I'm trying my best, guys. So I thought I would share that with you guys today. So if you guys are ready, let's get this video started. So as you can see, it's full on winter here, you guys. I'm wearing a sweater and I have my penguin blanket like on top of my regular blanket, which means it's fucking cold. <laughs> So um, I thought I would start off with the physical stuff for today's video and then we're going to move on to the non-physical stuff, like recommendations and stuff like that. So I'm going to start off with one of the most exciting things I got this month, which is my hoodlam delivery. For those of you who have watched me around this time last year, I ordered a coat and a jacket and some hat and stuff like that from a company called Hoodlam. It's basically a brand that does ethical fashion and they're 100% vegan and cruelty free. They also use 100% organic hemp, which is aka weed, I mean... And they don't use sweatshops and all those bad things we don't like about fashion. So this year I ordered another coat and a few other things that I was missing. So I'm going to start off, start off with showing you guys things that I got. Let's start with the coat because it is by far my favorite. This is the coat. Well, it's going to be hard to show you guys because it is massive. But it is a burgundy. This is size medium in case you're wondering. Burgundy. Ladies Hoodlamp Parka, that is the full name, and it is very, very thick and heavy and warm. I have to sneeze. Fuck! Ah. God, I need to clean my room. Ah. I absolutely love it. It is so comfortable. It is so warm. It's so nice when you wear it. It is just... Oh, I love it. Last year I got the Nordic Parka gray color. I don't have it here because it's in Tel Aviv because I'm packing for another winter trip. But I got the Nordic Parka last year because I was traveling to a very, very, very cold country like Iceland. Uh, even though, after all, Poland was way colder than Iceland. Kind of misleading name, but yeah. <laughs> so this year I decided to go for the ladies' Hoodland Parka because it is not as cold, which means I can wear it in Israel when it's like temperatures are going down around like less than 10 degrees uh, which is currently what it is fuck man it's cold I'm not even kidding so this is the coat I got I also got myself a sweater this is made from hemp as well it is a gray color I think it's super cute I love the color and the style of it and I also got myself a black hoodie this is the, I think the regular black hoodie. I don't really know how to show you guys. I'm not so good with like showing clothes and shit because I don't do that on my channel much. But let me see what it says. Lady, ladies classic zip up hoodie. That is the name. Black, medium. Um, and that, that's it for that. I also got myself a pair of gloves. This is a blue color. I wish they had a touch thingy on them. But hola, maybe next year. Hint, hint. <laughs> and also, I am so happy to say I got myself two hats. Um, for those of you who may remember Sweden last year, I lost this hat. Well, I lost this hat so many times during my travels. Hold up my gum. Mm, bye bye. I lost this hat so many times. I lost it in Scotland. I lost it in like eh, lots of places, okay? And then certain someone lost it for me in Sweden. Um, on a ship, well, boat, whatever it was, and I was so devastated because these are like the best hats I've ever worn. These are so nice and warm and comfy, and like I could wear this like with minus temperature and be fine, like my head would feel okay. Um, so they're just like amazing, and I love them. And I was so sad I lost this one. So this year, I got not only the one that I lost, I got another one just in case. And yes, I will definitely be traveling with two just in case I lose one of them because, you know, I may or may not have a tendency of losing things. So these are all the things I got from Hoodlam. I honestly cannot recommend them enough. 
I absolutely love their stuff. I do have to admit it is a bit pricey, but it's 100% worth it. Their clothes are an absolute game changer. I have to admit that while I was traveling, it was a completely different experience uh, than traveling with like shitty coats and shitty equipment. And I never had like really proper winter gear. Probably because I'm from Israel and uh, yeah, <laughs> we don't really have like our winter is not that bad here Like if you compare it to Europe and like other countries I visited last winter So so yeah, if any of you are looking for a vegan cruelty-free coat That's also fair trade and 100% sustainable. I would highly recommend you guys. Honestly, I can't recommend them enough I love their brand. I love their fashion. I love everything they do. They also donate to Sea Shepherd, which is an amazing cause. And I just absolutely love all they do. So if you guys are interested, I'm going to leave a link in the description below so you can check them out. And we're going to be moving on to my next favorite this month, which is uh, my favorite show of the month. Da -da -da -da! Stranger Things. I know, I know, I know everyone's talking about it. Probably most of you have seen it already, but honestly, I cannot say that I've enjoyed a show this much since Game of Thrones. Is that English? I really enjoyed it, okay? <laughs> I honestly had so much fun watching it. To be honest, I watched the first episode of the first season around April last year, maybe February, March, I don't remember, but I watched it. And I really enjoyed the first episode, and then there was this little hook, so I started watching the second episode, but I watched it with my ex-boyfriend, so we ended up, like, not following through, and then, like, I just, I just had this, like, mm -hmm, kind of negative connotation about that show because of that. Um, which I'm so, so, so grateful for my brother for, like, pushing me to watch it because it is such a good show. I had so much fun watching it. One day, I was just sitting here, like, depressed as fuck during my antidepressant rehab and he was like hey man do you want to watch something cool I'm like fuck yeah and we started watching it on Netflix and let me tell you I enjoyed it so much it's just 80s vibes and it is so interesting and it has like such a fun like kick to it I don't know so many things I love in one and I highly recommend you guys to check it out if you haven't already. I know it's like being talked all over and all that stuff and it can make a lot of people be like, oh yeah, I don't like to watch mainstream shit. I know, I'm kind of like the same, like to be honest, if I haven't watched Game of Thrones like since the beginning, then I probably wouldn't watch it today. <laughs> same for Stranger Things. Um, but yeah, sometimes you have to swallow your pride and watch something that everyone else watches and sometimes you realize it's for a good reason that everyone is watching it because it's fucking good so yeah watch stranger things please and if you guys have any recommendations for shows i'm in dire need honestly <laughs> i'm in such dire need please let me know all the netflix recommendations even stuff outside of netflix i am uh, you know <laughs> We're not gonna get into that, but yeah, I can, I, I need recommendations, please, help me out, guys. So my next favorite, we're gonna move on to music, and that is, well, inspired by the Game of Thrones, Game of Thrones? Did I just say Game of Thrones? Jesus. Inspired by Stranger Things soundtrack. And I absolutely love the Stranger Things music, everything about that show, like the vibe, the 80s kind of thing I was loving it so I was just searching on YouTube and I saw that they have this stranger synth I cannot pronounce it synth it's so hard to pronounce but one of the songs there well, I like the whole like mixtape but one of the songs there was called Golden Light by Starfucker and it is amazing like I cannot get enough of it I've been listening it to listening to it for like a week and a half non-stop in the car in my house like in my earphones like at the gym all the time like i cannot get enough and when i get enough i listen to the whole mixtape of the stranger since thing so look it up on youtube and listen to it i highly recommend you guys to check it out it is so good <clears throat> Next we're going to move on to my favorite recipe of the month and for those of you who don't know, I've started doing this low FODMAP diet. If you guys don't even know me, I am vegan. I've been vegan for 11 years but I've been struggling with my stomach issues and uh, I've been recommended to try the FODMAP diet for a very long time and well, I decided to give it a try. So 
basically on a FODMAP diet, you can't eat a lot of things that are vegan, um, which sucks. <laughs> but I found something that I really enjoy and I ended up eating every single day, like at least once, and that is nuked potatoes with nutritional yeast and vegan butter. Yes, my friends, I have found the holy trinity once again in the form of potatoes and yeast. <laughs> But honestly, trust me on this one, you guys. Just take some potatoes, microwave the shit out of them, and the process is basically putting them in the microwave as is. I don't even wash them. I just put them on a plate, and I just turn the heat on the highest, and I give them like 10 minutes. Then I flip them over and give them like another 10, 7 minutes, however long they need. It really depends on the microwave, so you have to like experiment and see for yourself. But... That's what I do. Then when the potatoes are ready, I cut them in half and, well, if I have the energy, I peel them off. Sometimes I just don't. I just leave it like that and just like scoop it out. Whatever. Whatever you feel like doing. But then you just sprinkle a lot of salt, oh, obviously salt, and nutritional yeast. I honestly... I put so much nutritional yeast, like, I cannot get enough of it. I put so much on it, like, it's like Canada up in there, okay? It's like snowy and nutritional yeasty. And on top of all that, I take some vegan butter and then I just, like, put it on top and it melts all over the nutritional yeast and it, like, it tastes like cheese. It is so good and if you want, you can, like, sprinkle some green green onions, scallions, however you call that in English, or whatever you want, basically. It just tastes amazing. I highly recommend you to try it out. You would thank me later. And I think that is it for all my monthly favorites. I haven't purchased many things this month. Um, I haven't finished any books. Sadly, I'm still working on this one book. Uh, I'll talk to you guys about it probably next month. But um, yeah, that is it for this video. Hope you guys have enjoyed it. If you did, make sure you press that thumbs up button, comment on it. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you're new here. Check out my ebooks if you're interested in some vegan recipes and some delicious ideas for meals. Follow me on Instagram and I will see you in the next video. Love you guys. Bye!